What is going on guys, my name is aj 3 FIFA, and welcome to the Ultimate Team News. Before we get into the news, I'm just going to do a bit of shameless self-plugging, where I tell you that my Pokemon FIFA episode, the new one came out yesterday, it hasn't got many views because Subbox has been a bit fucked, so I'll leave the link in the description, just give it a click and give it a watch if you fancy it, and it'd be much appreciated. So, the news. The first bit of news that we've got is that people who did the pack glitch when the web app first launched have been totally banned from every single EA game, EA service online, the Ultimate Team web app, playing on FIFA 12 if they go back onto it on the console, everything. They've just been totally banned and I think most of them have been IP banned as well. So even if they had multiple accounts on their laptop and they had them all going up at the same time and getting all the different free, free packs and daily gifts and doing it on that, even if they only did one the glitch on one account, all of their accounts have been banned. Another thing EA have been doing is tracking the big money trades. So where people have been trying to launder the money that they've got with the pack glitch. So for example, they opened a load of packs, discarded them all, and they've got themselves 100k. They're then going to have to get rid of that 100k because odds are they knew the account was going to get banned. So what they've done is traded the 100k over, bought a bronze player off their mate's account or off another one of their accounts or something like that. And EA have been tracking this and they've banned the accounts that got the 100k sent over to them. So, this has happened to one of the pretty big YouTubers, you'll probably have heard of him, he's called the Gamer Can or Curtis, and he heard about this yesterday, a subscriber offered him 70k to sort of get ahead in the Ultimate Team game, get the videos out before anyone else could because he's got more coins, and unbeknown to him, this was dirty money, so he's accepted it and then he's gone onto EA's sort of black watch list, and when they've been handing out the payment bans, his account has been totally banned from every EA service. Now he's got Microsoft points stored up on there that he's lost, he's got the season ticket which he's got to go and rebuy when he makes a new account, everything. He's just totally lost. I don't know whether EA will be listening to appeals. I have seen that there's an online EA chat thing but it's usually got a waiting time of about an hour and it's an absolute pain. So basically lads, the moral of the story is, don't try and cheat because you will get caught and you will get fucked up the bum by EA and you'll just totally remove all of your accounts and you'll never be able to play on FIFA 13 on them again. Another moral of the story is, if something seems too good to be true, it probably is and you're probably going to get in the shit for it. Apart from that, there's not really much news that I can give you. The web app has just been tucked down for maintenance, so hopefully when they bring it back, a lot of the errors will be fixed, such as the club dates and not being able to trade between each other and friends and stuff like that. Trade offers I'm about there. So hopefully when it comes back up, they'll all be fixed. EA haven't actually said anything about it. They're still remaining tight-lipped, so you can't really know until it comes back in an hour or so. Anyway, that's all really I can tell you on the web app because, as I've just said, they haven't really said anything about it. So I'm going to move on to something else that's sort of been doing the rounds in the FIFA community and people are getting really confused about, so I'm just going to clear it up. And it stems from the fact that Oscar scored an absolutely insane goal for Chelsea in the Champions League. So basically, everyone's seen that goal and said, oh my god, the guy deserves a team of the week. But that's where the confusion comes in because you can't get a team of the week for playing in the Champions League. You can only get a team of the week for playing in your league game. This is basically just to keep it fair. Not everyone plays in the Champions League or the Europa League or another cup like that. So just to keep it on level playing ground, they've done it. Everyone has a league game once a week, so they've just done it off the league game. So everyone's got an equal opportunity to get into the team of the week. If they were to give Oscar an inform, it would have to be a man of the match card because that's what you get for playing in the cups. So they're the orange ones. The purple ones were for the Euros. The blue ones are team of the season. And all the different colours are just to help us differentiate. So you can't get a normal black team of the week inform for playing in a cup game. However, will Oscar get one? I really, really doubt it. To me, the only reason they brought out the international man of the match and the man of the match cards is to get more money, basically. People had stopped buying packs, they thought, I know, we'll bring out some extra cards in different colours and everyone will go mental for them. They'll all spend hundreds of pounds on packs and we'll make a fortune again. So while we can't buy packs with real life money, it's unlikely that they'll bring out a man of the match. No doubt, after the big massive pack opening hype in the first week or so, they'll bring out a big player with a man of the match card where he's boosted uploads just to get everyone buying the packs again and back in on the hype to make even more money. That's just about it for today's news guys, so I'll just give a quick summary. The people who did the pack glitch have been totally IP banned and they can't get on any EA account on any EA game at all. The people who are associated with them have had their account banned, so people who are money laundering or had got given dodgy coins or anything like that, that one account's been banned. And also, it's impossible to get a Team of the Week inform card from the Champions League or any other cup game. It would have to be a Man of the Match account match card, and I really doubt that they're going to give it one now, while packs can't be bought with real life money. So thanks for watching, lads. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this, or if you'd like to see my Pokemon FIFA series, which is the other regular thing on my channel. Do be sure to go and follow me on Twitter. Again, as with anything else, links are in the description. Go down there, give them a click, and I will see you all next time.